Isolation Nation. <laughs> Welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. I am Ben Glebe. I am one of your hosts today. I am very excited to be here with you. It's going to be a very, very good show. Um, we got a great one lined up for you, but I'm going to get it going right now. Please welcome the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine from the set of his new movie, whatever. It's Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Great to see you all. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can... Uh, Venmo on the top right of the screen. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. You can, of course, super chat on the YouTube. You can do the, the stars and the chats. <laughs> and, of course, there's Instagram. We're live on Instagram. It's our main <laughs> platform, even though we are not <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, that said, uh, Ben probably is eating a sandwich, and we're going to go now to the third leg. Chris Bowers. Chris Bowers, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Ben and Steve. Person, oh, wow. how are you? Uh, I did not realize how much hair color made a difference. Wow. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to be here. We got a fun show. Rachel's here. Rachel, how are you doing? Queen. I'm a little, I'm a little frightened, I'll be honest. That wasn't great. <laughs> frightened and, and, and kind of turned on thanks to old memories? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I didn't say anything like that. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, ben, I'm sure. Do you have a finger felt filter, Ben? Because that's when we're going to be impressed. When the fingers up and they're all fucked up somehow. That would be impressive. That at least is okay. When Steve goes looking for people to date, he looks for eights. For eights. For eights. Oh. <laughs> all right, Ben, that was a good one. You get credit where credit's due. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I can't believe it took us 205 episodes to think of that. That's fucking great. <laughs> um, by the way, if I can share a, a, a funny thing that happened the other day. So I, I don't know if it's funny, but it was just weird. I had to go run an errand in the city of Corona uh, yesterday. <laughs> and sure. not an ideal town for this time period. And we were there for hours, Carmel and I. And we got hungry at the end of this errand. And we wanted to get dinner. So we decided to go get dinner in Corona, and we found an open restaurant, and it was a teppanyaki place, like a Benihana knockoff kind of place. Sure. And they had people eating indoors at shared communal tables doing oh. teppanyaki with a chef oh. in front of them. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Was it good? It was delicious. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but we were, we were this is stupid, right, guys? We all agree this is stupid, but goddamn, it's good. I'm, I'm gonna put this in a bag later for my pocket, but goddamn, this is so good. We gotta. <laughs> we, were that we we were gonna we thought about eating indoors, but we can't do it. So we ate in a tent in front of the place, across the parking lot, by ourselves in a tent. And they brought the food out to us. We were by ourselves. It was cold. It was very good for smoking weed. When you're in a tent like that by yourself, great to smoke weed while you eat this delicious hot food being brought to you. Very romantic dinner, nine feet from a very loud freeway. It was awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. Did you see the guy who got caught in the cat filter as a lawyer and he couldn't get it off? <laughs> that was the on Zoom ever when he said to the judge, I'm ready to go, but I am not, in fact, a cat. That, was... that hurt my soul. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking idiot. How do you even get stuck? <laughs> Say I think the guy's been watching the show this whole time, Ben, and he just couldn't figure out how to get you know red box on his table. It was hilarious. I don't and know. he had an assistant. He's like, my assistant is here. We're trying to remove the cat. He even had an assistant, and they couldn't figure out how to get the cat off. That was wild. <laughs> and the only the only dumber lawyer than that guy was Trump's lawyer yesterday. Because holy <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I think the highlight of his argument was, listen, we had an argument planned, but you guys did a really good job. I know, right? <laughs> literally said that. We better change our strategy because you pr you proved the case so well. Yeah. I have to think about it. So I want to respond. I want to let you know we have responses to all the things. He said that <laughs> sentence. All the things. And then his other lawyer comes out and he was like, I'm so sorry, I just need to drink some water. <laughs> he pulled his own head back. Yeah, but Democrats are the lizard people, but all the Republicans have to drink. <laughs> yeah, there's clips of Trump going, <laughs> wild. 
<laughs> anyway, we had a fun overnight game last night. It was take something from SDSC and then, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So make it innuendo a little bit, right? So, <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, uh, this hap- this popped up in my feed yesterday. Uh, just sp- uh, Teespring, the store just jumped up like, hey, do you want any T-shirts? It was like a generic ad. It was not for us. It, none of the other shirts were ours, but the first one was hungry for these nipples. That was the first shirt. Shut up. <laughs> was the hungry for these nipple shirts so i don't know if they're using that now to try to sell teespring as a thing but if they are that's really funny to me uh <laughs> Listen, like, the <laughs> obvious takeaway is that the world is hungry for these nipples well i mean you know they're not what's sad is everyone in this your world opinion. Is for those opinion. nipples except for one person and she lives in your house anyway uh <laughs> What are the odds? I, um, I wish I didn't get some of your jokes, but I get them all. <laughs> There's lots of stuff you don't get, Ben. Anyway, uh, all right. So it was wink, wink, nudge, nudge, a, a thing. So uh, Smash had, let's hear it from Doodoo Bean. Doodoo Bean, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, like that. By the way, just, uh, to clarify, just to clarify, if I can, Bowers, there might be a lot of stuff I don't get, but cherry pie is not one of them, okay? <laughs> Seriously, take, I just finished a take cherry a bite. Pie. Take a bite of your literal cherry pie. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Shannon Savage had got any plugs? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That one's been making it for a while. Uh, Barrel had, hey, we had we had a fun overnight game. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I like that one. And finally, Tim had, <laughs> That's a great one. Right? And Tam had finally, let's goof around. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> We're goofing all over the place. I like that one. Uh, Rach, you want to introduce today's game? Yeah, so today's game is Storm a Celebrity. So In honor of Steve. Steve- yeah, so since Steve is filming that Storm Chasers movie, Psycho Storm Chaser, um, we decided to, yeah, storm a celebrity. I'm not going to be great with these uh, examples. What was it? Michael Hurricane? Yep. Uh, Taylor had one, Stormy Stormy Daniels. I like that, and I'm going to steal it. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yep. Any other We also examples? had, what did you guys suggest? You guys had, oh, Rain Judy Dench. <laughs> Judy Drench. I changed it. To Judy Drench. I better. changed that, Bowers. Sorry. That was you. That was. Yeah. <laughs> Rain Judy Judy Drench is great. That's double. That's Maybe double. I didn't get it, and so. After she sees two fingers, she gets. <laughs> and, uh, and... Women, older British women love crooked fingers. <laughs> and, t- and crooked teeth. They like crooked, crooked teeth and crooked fingers. That's <laughs> and by the way, I just want to point out that when when Steve is gone, we do a game in honor of his movie work. When I'm gone, you guys are like, let's do Ben jokes. Fuck Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, that's not completely true, right? And I think we have done something with Steve because I remember Reda file stuff like came I up mean, last time. Last time he wasn't here, we fucking put stickers Not on his, his car. car. Remember? That was a whole thing. Good point. Remember that part Good of the point. show? That's true. I, I stand corrected. Stickers on his car. What a what a what a what a punishment. What a punishment. It was a pretty good punishment, actually. <laughs> Was pretty good punishment. All right. Uh, oh, well, before, before Ben or Steve's about to jump in, but before we get to the video front row, we had a huge Patreon. Uh, oh shit! Wait, what's pause the opposite of Exodus? Pause a second. We got to see this. A bunch of people. We wait, are wait, now. Bowers, 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 Bowers. We we we've got to address the elephant in the room here. What's Give us here? just oh one second. Oh my god. Here. Ah, <laughs> <like that>. <laughs> <laughs> The police. <laughs> hey, everybody. We can um, tell you're I'm not a real cop uh, on account of that mask. No, I'm thinking of going and get lunch with this mask to see whether or not I'll go viral. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a good idea. Ben almost went viral last night at a hibachi place. That's good. <laughs> Wrong kind of viral. You'll probably go viral because people will pull your mask down and breathe on you angrily. <laughs> so how's it going, man? How's the, how's the set? Uh, it's going pretty well. Everybody's, you know, doing the safety COVID protocols and it's, it's real weird because we basically just all ignore each other for a while and then we do a scene. It's fun. Um, I died already, which is cool. Sorry. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Um, How do you die? Were you you killed by a storm or a chaser? (laughs) (laughs) He's been sober for a long time, so he's probably killed by the chaser. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I get I get killed by uh, the the guy electrocutes me. Oh, oh in, the, wow. in the balls? In the, yeah, it's in, it's, in, it's in the ball. You, Ben, did you read the script I sent over to you? Because it, it was in the balls. I did, I did. I wanted that role, the ball electrocutor, so bad, but I did not get cast. 
<laughs> no, uh, Ben actually tried out for left ball. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because my balls have been left alone, so I've done the research. <laughs> yeah. you guys, did you guys do that that stupid game in middle school where you'd put somebody in between you and one guy, one person would go left nut, the other person would go right nut, and then you go the one in between us must be the penis. Did you guys ever do that? Uh, no, we went to different what? schools. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes dumb shit like that spread all over the country. I didn't know if that was just a Richmond, Indiana thing, or if other people did that. I didn't know. Yeah, that was literally two guys at your school. Yeah. No, it was everyone at my school. It was a big thing. Left nut, right nut, penis in between us was a huge game in seven. That was everybody at your school. Oh and, then, and then how 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 short was the bus that took you there? <laughs> no, but we did we did have a thing at uh at at my school where people would say that uh people would proudly call themselves uh a taint because they would say uh, that they're in between uh two balls and an asshole. <laughs> Is that what you did? <laughs> you had th four people in your in your burn, Steve. You're saying right nut, left nut, asshole. No, I'm you... making I'm making it up because you had I a ridiculous know, I'm thing. <laughs> I understand. That's something we did. I don't know why we did it, but I thought yeah, it was, no, I just... that was a thing. You guys, you guys didn't do that thing where like one of you would stand there and be like, "I'm a boob," I'm and the other one would be like, "I'm a shoulder." <laughs> you didn't do that. Damn, people throw salt over their shoulder everywhere. I don't know how these things spread around. <laughs> yeah. like, that's sometimes things just happen. I don't know. Sometimes when you play with your two balls and and the, and the penis in between us, salt gets thrown over your shoulder too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. By the way, guys, wait here. Hold on. There's no one near me now. So here's the full cop look. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that Taylor renamed you Steve. Stop or I'll poot Hofstetter. <laughs> he also uh, he also put two Fs in Hofstetter. What show are we on? Two hundred and five. Don't worry. Aside from that mistake, we respect you greatly here. I totally didn't open the show like this when I introduced you. That was not part of. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I didn't do that. <laughs> it was pretty. Yeah, no, a finger I'm... filter too. Uh, did they give you a real gun, or did you bring your own? <laughs> no, they gave me they gave me uh, a prop gun. But what's really weird, and I didn't know this because I've never been on a set with a prop gun before. Apparently, it's protocol that even though this is like a plastic cheap, like even a even a toy gun would be like, what is that thing? Like I'm not allowed to point it at anybody. Of course. Oh well, yeah. What do you mean? If you if, if the scene called for it, you'd be allowed to. No, if the scene calls for it, but like joking around. In between takes, they're You're like, no, they don't won't do let that. you. Do, they won't let you run around that neighborhood in your cop uniform pointing a gun at people. What? <laughs> Not in the neighborhood. I mean, in, in the house. <laughs> you know, like Why literally, you after, after the scene, I was walking back up with it because I was holding it in the scene. And after the scene, I'm walking back up to it, and like one of the one of the uh, producer people was just like, "Hey, can you please holster your gun?" I was like, "All right, uh, I'm sorry." And I mean, you, you know why that happened? <laughs> this is this is real. Remember Jim, remember John Eric Hexum? Are you guys too young for that? No. Uh, he, he was on this show, but he was he was like in a big show and he had a he had a fake gun and during one of the breaks he was like ha 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 and he spun the chamber and fired a fake bullet into his temple, but there's enough of a wad it killed him. It like hit his temple and killed him brain dead in like nineteen eighty three. So they've had fake gun laws since then. Not real gun laws. We don't care about that. But we lose one actor to a fake gun. We're gonna fucking control that shit out of that. Yeah, guys. I, I didn't. You guys march for actor lives matter. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it looks pretty pretty sunny out there. What storms are you chasing? Is that all CGI? Oh no. So they did a whole thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can show it to you. Um, do you see that? Do you see that bar above the house? Yes. Yeah. What? That's the that's the rain bar, and so like because because my role was I come in during the middle of a hurricane this morning when it was like fifty degrees. They were like, okay, turn the rain and the wind on, and I was like, son of a bitch. And then they were like, let's do eight takes, and I was like, uh, this is uncomfortable. Oh. And before each scene, for continuity, before each scene, they have like a water bottle, and even the scenes in the house, I'm supposed to have just come in from the rain. So before each scene, they just douse me with water. Oh. Well, this is gonna get you ready, this will get you ready for Pittsburgh, at least. That's good. Yeah, I was actually thinking when I was shivering, waiting to do the next take, I was like, oh, good. This is actually warm compared to where I'm about to move. So, Is yeah. this an OnlyFans uh, movie? <laughs> <laughs> we need you yeah. wetter, Steve. You're not wet enough. <laughs> ben, ben also tried out for the, uh, for the person who wets me. <laughs> Steve, Steve Hoff's wetter, am I wrong? Steve, how do you feel about your acting so far? 
Um, some of the scenes I was really, really confident in. A lot of like a, a lot of my part is it's it's almost all dramatic acting today. Like tomorrow I get to do the fun stuff. We're doing it in reverse. Oh, so tomorrow I get to do the fun stuff. This is a zombie like, storm chasing movie? I thought you're already dead. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like we did the death scene today. Oh, okay. Oh, they're ready for me. I'll see you guys later. All right, dude. Be famous. Later, buddy. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, before we get to the front row, we did have a huge uh, Patreon. Uh, uh, people join the Patreon like crazy. We asked for 100, and we ended up with 107. So we, we really did it. Crazy. We did it. So we have a special uh, Patreon uh, hang with everybody. Yes, thank you so all. Get, get to all these people. We had a bunch. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Sarah Lubke joined at the uh, at the Isolation Nation pinned level. Riverman at Isolation Nevel, uh, Nation level. Uh, Rebecca Scott, Isolation Nevel. Brett, uh, Brett Steinbook, Isolation, Isolation Nation. Uh, ben Sewell is Gamer Guru. Uh, Dennis, Denise Cook, I'm sorry, Isolation Nation. Miguel Trevino, Isolation Nation. Corin Black, Isolation Nation. Shelly Turnbow, Charlie Tinsley, Chris LaBelle Music, which I'm assuming is LaBelle's, is at the pinned level. Chrissy Jordan is at the pinned level. And then Shonda Jensen and Josh Ritter are both at Isolation Nation level. So we joined, all, got a whole bunch of new Patreons this week, and we're very excited about it. Good job, Bowers, gonna... getting through that. Yeah, uh, barely. It's not easy, is it? Uh, no, nah, I can't say Nation for some reason. I don't know. Isolate I'm playing some Nav Sim. I can't say it. I can't say it. I don't know what the is. But those are the new Patreons. If you want to join the Patreon, patreon.com slash SDSC. Come check that out. The only time you've ever said that correctly. Well done. Really well done. Thank Steve you. makes me nervous. I don't care about you fuckers. Thank you all for supporting us. really appreciate it. We look forward to the hang. That is super cool. We look forward to hanging with you right now. Video front row. Please turn on your cameras and join the party. We have got josepha snyder with us today hello josepha hello i like that slow pan up and the steve hofstetter hat that's awesome <laughs> we got frank berman in the house good to see you frank don't move at all do not move we've got chris laballs coming to us from laballs headquarters we've got brad clark coming to us from the base of the 20th century fox light searchlight thing <laughs> That was his robot sound saying, yes, that's correct. <laughs> we are joined by Tamothy now, my friends. Tamothy wearing the Glebe Squad shirt. Love that. Very cool. Judging from the clips of Caster's performance, Trump should have hired the cat. <laughs> that is awesome. That is flipping awesome. I love it. Um, where are we here? Are we, Frankie Berman is still on camera? I'm confused as to what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's tam there's tam with the background i don't know if you've seen that yet very very cool stuff love it tamothy thank you for the support we are joined by adler lost his crown uh -oh. adler lost his crown i don't know what that means but that is i mean his tooth fell out he's got oh, a tooth yeah. that fell oh, out of his head well, it's another prop you can use. Right? He was eating 22-year-old fucking peanut brittle that was from the fucking, you know, <laughs> from the Munsters or some shit. He has some official Munsters peanut brittle. He broke his teeth off. Don't feel bad for Adler. New food. Oh, the tooth? And what were you eating? <laughs> We have got Becca Lynn joining us today. Hello, Becca. I, I hope you're feeling better. Are you, are you feeling better? No. Okay, fair enough. But you're with us. That's the good news. You want to share what happened? I can tell people. You want me to tell people for you? Becca had a heart attack, but she's doing good. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's doing better now on the fact that she's in a comedy show right now. So you, you got to assume it's it's at least not horrendous. Good. We hope you're back on your feet soon. It was minor. Okay, good. Now, did okay. they prescribe laughter? Is that why this is happening? What's going on? <laughs> no, they prescribed nitroglycerin, but I took the patch off. So oh, now I'm going for humor. All right, going for laughter. I like, I like your style. If you Becca. could figure out how to do it, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, on it. I don't also, I don't know if taking the patch off to kick your nitroglycerin habits, I don't know if quitting smoking is the right time right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, good, 
Good luck with it. It's good to see you doing somewhat okay, Becca. Thank you for being with us. We've got LJ Mutz and stuff is here. You hear that, Carmel? <laughs> Carmel heard it. Carmel heard it. She just said, yeah, through the door. John Ehrlich is with us, everybody, coming to us from the home field. We've got Shannon Burke. Still no Cox, Ben. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a lot of cocks I'm seeing, though, in the background. And these are new cocks compared to yesterday's cocks. <laughs> Non-cocks. I don't know what is happening, but I guess technically those are not. You're right. But they, There's I mean. There's no dicks. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure. That's more spirit of the, or letter of the law than spirit of the law, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> you could we... fuck most of those things, I think, if you try. <laughs> in a pinch. <laughs> We've got Weddy Corbin here with us. Weddy, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've got Patrick Yokely with us. Hello, Patrick. Storm Chaser himself. That's yep. right. The inspiration for everything Steve does in his life. <laughs> we've got Cassie Nolan in the house. Hello, Cassie. We've got Meg Begley Jr. coming to us from the Wind Generation Farm and Adoption Pet Rescue Place. <laughs> We've got Anna Hood coming to us from the art set. Hello, Anna. Bill Thompson is here. Not in the corner, in fact, right in the line of fire. You're going to get taken out by some angry kids in a, in, a, in a sled, Bill. Be careful. We got Abby in the house. Hello, Abby. Jan Skittles Johnson is here. Jan's about to get stabbed again just to one up Becca. <laughs> oh, no. no. We got Dana Z. Bunster in the house. Hello, Dana. Bunst. And we got Frank Nataro in the house, everybody. There he is. Frankie N., the host of television's SDSC. And that is the video front row. <laughs> Very cool. We've got two great comics. One we have to get to right away. So I'm going to introduce both of them and then go on to the set. Uh, Carmen Lynch is back. Carmen, how are you doing? Hi, I'm here. Can you see me? Woo! I uh, I just killed a roach, so it's nice to see an unfamiliar face once in a while during this quarantine. <laughs> huh. Did you see the video of the guy that woke up and there was a roach playing his guitar? Did you see that video? No. Like, like woke up to all this music and he, and, he, and he chose his guitar and there's a roach on the string just making all this noise. And runs <laughs> what song was he playing? Ah, uh, Stairway to Heaven. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most roaches can't play the guitar, but it was a big one. It was, it was Papa Roach. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Dwayne Perkins is here. Dwayne, how you doing, buddy? Dwayne. Um, uh, yeah, I'm starting it right now. Hey, guys. Uh, good to be here. Can you see? Yes. Whoa. Um, you know, just you guys made me think of when I was in college and the uh, advisor we in the assembly said, look to your right, look to your left. One of you is a penis. So, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was a fun speech. Right, right. right. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, hey, Karma's on a tight schedule, so we're going to get to her right now, and then we'll go from there. So, come to the stage right now. Carmen Lynch, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's so great to be here. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. And my boyfriend's mother was here, so we were actually watching porn together. I know that's crazy. It's called Outlander. It's so sexual. <laughs> um, and the crazy thing is, I'm not giving anything away, but there is a serial rapist on Outlander. And then I started watching The Crown, and guess who's married to Queen Elizabeth? The rapist. The same <laughs> actor is married to queen and i'm looking at him and i'm like you're a rapist i can't watch you what an idiot she married this horrible man i know rape isn't funny but the joke is funny okay so <laughs> anyway the theme of the crown in case you haven't seen it is that no one does any work royals are just it's a bullshit job the only person who works <laughs> on the crown is the queen, Queen Elizabeth. And they love to be like, I have nothing to do. Will you give me something to do? Will you give me something to do? And Prince Charles is bored and, and queen, the queen's sister is bored. Basically they have nothing to do, which is how we feel during COVID. And you know how you feel empty inside right now? Well, that's how the Royals feel every day of their life. 
<laughs> so just be glad you're not a royal. Um, what else? Um, I know that uh, Steve is gone. I saw that clip of him sh filming uh, Sharknado 12 or something. And uh, uh, the movie that Chris was talking about was Voyager. I think it was a series. It was called Voyager. Remember, that was that hot guy. I remember because he was hot. And... Uh, and uh, I said, Rain, Rain Romano. I don't know if that counts for your little game, Rain Romano. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I've also been biking. When it's not snowing in New York, I've been biking. And I wear a helmet because I don't want to die quickly. And I parked my bike the other day. I parked my bike at the station, at the city bike, because I use the city bike, the rentals, the rental bikes. I parked my bike and I'm walking through Manhattan and I forgot, I forget to take off my helmet. So now it just looks like I'm walking through the city with a helmet on and no mask because I was on a bike. And now people think that I think that that's how you protect yourself from COVID is by wearing a helmet. Okay. I look crazy. You know, those parents that walk around with empty strollers because they're going to pick up their kids. That's what I look like. When you see somebody, you see a parent with an empty stroller and you're like, you know, there's no child in there, right? You know, you don't have a baby. Okay. That's what I look like. Um, anyway, uh, my last name is Lynch, which is not good. I think in this, in this world, I will be, uh, my, my last name will get canceled and then I'll just be Carmen. <laughs> And men are doing very well right now. It's all about women. Okay. So then I'm just going to be car. Okay. And, and cars are bad for the environment. So then I'm just going to be, ah, <laughs> um, let's move right on. Okay. So my boyfriend's mother is very nice, but she'll say she's almost 80 and she'll say whatever she wants. And I like her. I get along with her very well, but then she starts yelling in front of my boyfriend. My boyfriend has, three brothers he starts yelling in front of all of them she's so easy what she means is easy going okay <laughs> and she everyone thinks i'm a whore now all of them they're like she's so easy i'm like it it looks like i tell her stories about my slutty days and then she just walks into the living room and she's like she's just really easy you know <laughs> Um, and she's proud of it too, which no mother-in-law would be. Um, thank you, Chris, for all your laughter. You're the only one I hear. Okay. <laughs> so I was, um, I was, uh, I was talking to my therapist because I, um, I was watching a lot of movies and I forget what the movie is about like two weeks later. This is my last joke. I saw the light. Okay. So I saw, yeah. so I was watching a, I was watching a movie. And I forgot, two weeks later, I forget what the movie is. So I asked my therapist, I was like, is, is that dementia? Do I have early onset dementia? And she goes, no, if you forget the plot of the movie, that's not dementia. Dementia is if you woke up and said, what is a movie? Oh <laughs> what? It's like, calm down, lady. I'm not that crazy. What is a movie? Which doesn't sound, it, it's not that bad because, you know, movies are cool. You get to learn every day. You go, honey, what's a movie? And then they would explain it to you and be like, that's a wonderful thing, you know? So it's not bad. Okay, that has no ending. I'm Carmen. Carmen <laughs> Lynch, everybody. Carmen Lynch, the tip jar is open. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Venmo on top right of the screen. Of course, chat, YouTube, YouTube, it's YouTube, Super Chats. And uh, very, very funny that Carmen, here's a part of your set that I liked, and I liked all of it. Oh, thank you. It was great. So my question, Carmen, when the doctor told you that you forget what a movie was, were you still wearing the helmet, or you take, had you taken that off yet? <laughs> I, you think that's a joke. I wear it all the time, and I forget, you know? And then sometimes I, I'm talking to myself, because on the bike, no one can hear me talking to myself. And then I just keep talking to myself when I'm off the bike, and I'm like, you look crazy. <laughs> talking also, to yourself with the helmet on what? well two two notes you might not protect yourself from COVID that way but wearing a helmet is how Bowers protected himself at his school and <laughs> <laughs> and also it doesn't look not crazy that you're talking like this into your eye into your earphone <laughs> microphone because we hear you just fine when you don't do that oh, okay I know. I, know I, I know I already speak so loud and I'm like, but they're far away. I gotta make sure they can hear me. Hey. Well, 
Well, if you want to be heard, if we're far away, that doesn't help. This helps if you can go like this. Carver, <laughs> <laughs> we, we were doing it. We, my friend bought a taser one time from like just, she just bought a taser. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to, uh, well, I just wanted to feel what it felt like. So we, we had a taser party. Everybody came to my house and we threw in 10 bucks. And at midnight, they tased me. And so uh -huh. as a joke, I wore a bike helmet and then I, I wore an adult diaper in case I hit my head or pooped my pants. And it didn't even really hurt that bad. But then we took all the money and went to the bar. So I wore the bike helmet to the bar and they wouldn't let me in because I was wearing a hat because of a because of gangs. I'm like, they're not wearing bike helmets. Shut the <laughs> no. This is a like gang helmet. What are you talking about? Yeah, Look at your hat. We can't have hats. I'm like, come on. It's a they they do that a lot, like at, at, at clubs, they won't let, let you wear jeans even sometimes. And I have to like convince the bouncer, these are nice jeans. These are not gangbanger jeans. You can see they fit nice. They're, I'm like spinning around modeling my jeans. <laughs> gangbanger jeans with plenty of pockets for guns. <laughs> Try gangbanger <laughs> jeans at Walmart. Uh, there, was a, there was a comedian girl one time that uh, was trying to, I think I might have mentioned this in the show before, that would like, I, I guess she like liked me or something, and she, I was at her apartment, and she kept trying to, she wanted to tase me. She's like, let me tase you, it'll be fun. I'm like, I'm not letting you tase me. And she's chasing me around the couch with uh -huh. a taser. I'm like, stop it, I'm not letting you tase me. And then she's like, it's not that bad, look. And she goes, Boom, and she just tases herself. <laughs> And it looked very painful. It didn't help her argument at all. She tased herself twice in a row. How was Did she sex? pass out? How, how was the sex? <laughs> <laughs> I did not hook up with her. She did not pass out. She turned it to a, to a low level. And I want to say her, her name right now really bad, but I'm not <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna do that. We don't want to drop names. That we don't drop bad names, Ben. We only drop big names, like Bob Streisand. Uh, <laughs> it's not a name drop story if you're telling how out of water you are in a weird party you got dragged along to. I mean, yeah, no, a, I agree. Hey, look, look if, I, if I ever went to a party with Bob, Barbara Streisand and Sally Field, I'd tell everybody about it. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying that doesn't make any sense to drop a name that we wouldn't know. That's all I'm saying. You know, we're not Steve. All right. Uh, <laughs> then, I then I won't say oh, – I wanted to say it there. I almost said it there. <laughs> Uh, Rach, let's do some tips for Carmen before she doesn't get out of here. All right, sounds good. Uh, we had Tam Brown send in five bucks and said, Carmen, maybe just use a symbol instead of your name like Prince did. Hilarious set. <laughs> oh, Thank you. you. <laughs> good idea. What would your symbol be, Carmen? No, she's the artist formerly known as Problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I had scoliosis, so maybe like. <laughs> It's just it's the print symbol, but taller. Is that what it is? <laughs> A crooked C. <laughs> uh. crooked, crooked C, it's fingerprints. <laughs> we had Nicole Burns send you five bucks for uh. us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Uh, Frank Berman, five bucks. Great set, Carmen, whose last name is not associated with a hate crime. <laughs> because I don't have one anymore. <laughs> hate crimes or last names? <laughs> uh, we did have, let's see, right before Steve got off, uh, Dana had sent in five bucks and said, for Officer Steve, thanks, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. People often pay right before Steve gets off. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually he pays. That's <laughs> right. That's what I meant. Damn it! <laughs> people pay Steve to come on them. That's not good. Oh, can we not? Talk about that? Man, you never know. I mean, it's good work if you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Z Monster tip five box set. Thanks, Carmen. You could rename yourself Auto Chic. Ooh, <laughs> Auto Chic. Tech <laughs> Nixon no. uh, and a couple Canadian hashtag gang banger helmets and jeans. Oops, ow, wow, see patch, ow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That tip, at least, that tip somehow got less weird by the end. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, Carmen, have you thought about maybe changing your last name to just insurrection or something that doesn't have that much political problems with it? Like, That's true. <laughs> that one's not as bad. Um, Carmen insurrection. Coup? Or... Carmen Koo. Carmen Koo. Carmen Charlotte. Nice. I don't know. I'm thinking of other things we could call you. 
Carmen Gia was my was my high school nickname. Carmen Gia, remember that car? Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, There's already yeah. Master Coup, but Carmen Carmen Coup would be funny. I think that'd be cool. Carmen, but mine's spelled like a coup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C O O P. Oh, U P. No, U P. I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 a chicken coo isn't a chicken coo isant that where they live a coo a c-o-o-p yeah someone yeah. should so. make a uh, where's uh, zara yes <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, of, coo. Coo of soup. instead of cup of soup coo of soup c-o-u-p of s-o-u-p anyway it's not it's right it's better than it says i'm gonna stop talking who's next <gasps> isn't, isn't that how you spell ku klux klan isn't c-o-u-p no <laughs> hey Sorry, but <laughs> uh, Wayne just said hey. <laughs> no, I said K. K, K. Hey, it's K O U P. Hey, hey, hey. And Dwayne's not just doing copy hey. He's gonna tell us when we've gone too far. That's what we have one. <laughs> That's too far. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we had Grimbeard seven five pounds for our guest performer, solar powered bicycle uh, reparations. <laughs> uh, and we're caught Somehow up. those reparations oh, still nice. went to Carmen the white woman and not to the black community. <laughs> you know. Well, he has to talk about bicycles. <laughs> Dwayne has some bike material, I think. Dwayne's got about, well, you got a bike chunk, right, Dwayne? Don't you have like 10 or eight, eight or 10 minutes on bikes? I do, I do. <laughs> We're doing some more, actually. Well, Carmen, I'm sure more stuff's going to come in as we go through the show, but I know you got to roll. Okay. So uh, plug your stuff. Where do, we find you? Where do we find you? At? Um, I have a podcast called The Human Centipod, and it's on Sirius on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern on Channel 771. She's so funny. It's called The Human Centipod. Nothing to do with the movie. Don't worry. It's just a crazy <laughs> podcast. All of my socials are at Carmen Comedian. TikTok videos, very weird, very silly. Twitter, Instagram, at Carmen Comedian. And I have an album called Vertically Obese, available everywhere. <laughs> well, thank you, Carmen. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks again, thank you guys. Thank you so much. See you. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. uh, we well, did have Carl send in a tip for Carmen, five pounds, and said, Carmen, speaking of royals not doing much, Prince Andrew doesn't work up a sweat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really terrible joke I'm not quite getting. I don't know. <laughs> Explain, lady, you want to explain I this? can explain this. I got this, guys. So here's the deal. You guys know <laughs> Prince Andrew is a fucking pedophile, right? Yeah. So uh, he, there's evidence that he was there at that one party where he fucked that underage girl. He goes, no, I couldn't have been there. You know why? Because I was in the Falkland Wall. And because of it, I can't sweat. She says I was sweaty. Therefore, she's a liar. He's full of shit. He also claimed he couldn't have been there because he was at a Pizza Express joint. What the fuck? When I had when I when I had sex when I had sex with Prince Albert he, or Prince Andrew he did not sweat at all. So I think <laughs> <laughs> <it's my Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's weird. I'm like you're not sweating at all, dude. He's like, well, you know, I'm not trying that hard. <laughs> people people did start leaving Pizza Express uh, reviews that said like, I loved it, but the dude in front of me was weird. He was eating a really spicy pizza, but he didn't sweat at all. <laughs> uh, <like that. laughs> also, if you're trying to avoid a pedophile charge, don't say you were at a pizza place. <laughs> Especially if it's called Express. That doesn't really cover you for the whole day, does it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's using McDonald's as their, app, as their alibi. Were you there 11 minutes? What the fuck are you talking about? It's at McDonald's. I couldn't have murdered him. What a terrible alibi. I, assume you, no, I was cooking cops. minute rice. I couldn't have done it. What are you talking That's one minute. <laughs> I did have that, 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 that Pop Tart meal, and so I was. <laughs> But I picture, you know, because um, juries are people who can't get out of jury duty. I just picture like the one person in the jury, like, you know, that's true what he said about the sweat, though. I mean, we should consider that. Could you get more clarification? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> so dumb. And his probably his attorney was dressed what looked like a cat. He had a cat filter, I'm sure, while he's defending him. <laughs> Your Honor, my, my guy couldn't sweat. I don't do filters. Uh <laughs> Right, well, maybe they, they bring a treadmill into the uh, courtroom, you know, and he runs on for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, but he runs on it OJ style. He's like on, on the sides and kind of not. Right, right. Like, Look, I don't know how do treadmills work. Oh. And you're like, since he's fit, you must have quit. You know, I don't That's know. Right. <laughs> Oh. He's dry. We wave him goodbye. <laughs> oh my god! A lot of my dates ended. What? <laughs> you never ended a, a date dry with that jacuzzi. Come on. No, he wasn't dry. The dates were dry. He was in the tub. They, they, they were. were dry. <laughs> Once they would, they wouldn't let him tase him. Uh, right, okay, they coming in. No, we are caught up. All right, let's get to Dwayne then. Coming now. It's the week of returning champions. Dwayne Perkins is here. Dwayne Perkins. Hey, guys. Good to be back. Uh, thank you for having me. You know, I, I, I felt like um, with all the quarantine stuff, stuff, something's getting lost. And it really upsets me. No one's talking about uh, Hometown Buffet. You know, and I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Hometown Buffet is ever coming back. Uh, and that's sad. That makes me sad, even though I hadn't been to a hometown buffet in about 20 years. But <laughs> just knowing it was there comforted me, a place where you could go and look down on people and get some cheap food. Um, now, I don't know where I'm going to go to see people with oxygen tanks, maybe Indian casinos. <laughs> like, I'm not sure about. Now, if you're watching, um, I know you have people from all over the world. And if you don't know what a hometown buffet is, just picture like a Walmart with a buffet. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Now, if, and if you don't have a, a Walmart, then just picture uh, people at NASCAR at a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what NASCAR is, if you don't have any of those things, just picture people at a taser party. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, one thing that that uh, upsets me is the term "black on black crime." It's just a weird term. Uh, it comes up a lot these days, and especially black people are the first people to say it. Not, I, I don't like it because everyone kills people that looks like them. That's just what it is. So why do we get a special turn? You know, when a black person kills another black person, it's you know black on black crime. But when a white person kills a white person, it's called Dateline. And uh, I want to rename uh, black on black crime to Black Dateline. That's what I. It's Black Dateline is getting out of control. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, but the one thing I will say, I watch, I watch Dateline, I watch Forensic Files, I watch a lot of the crime shows. And I promise you, I would say about 60% of the crimes that get solved is because of a concerned neighbor. Notice something. A concerned neighbor. That's just a Karen. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 and that's the thing. When, you, when you're breaking up a, a barbecue that you shouldn't break up, you're called the Karen. But when you actually hit pay dirt and you help, you're called the concerned citizen. That's the difference. <laughs> and, and I think Karens are here to stay. I think we need Karens. We just need to bring them back. We don't need to completely eliminate them. We just need to dial them back. Just, just, bring, just bring it back in. I think what happens is they just get a little excited. It's like if you're a fisherman and you catch a fish, every now and then you catch a little one. And the rules state that you're supposed to throw that one back. But you're like, ah, oh, I, 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 I worked so hard for this fish. You got to throw it back. So that's what a Karen does. They, every now and then they come, they stumble upon a barbecue and everyone's just kicking it. And they, they just want something to be there and they can't throw it back. You know what I mean? They just can't let it go. But trust me, we need Karens. Look, if you live next door to a Karen and some strange car parks in your driveway, it could, like you could drive a red Subaru like a red Subaru Forester, and then someone pulls in like a Subaru Outback that's silver, she's going to call the cops and they're going to find you. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm your neighbor, like if I'm your neighbor, someone could pull up in your driveway with a camouflage van, okay, <laughs> with chainsaws hanging off of it, 
they're never going to find you. I'm never calling anyone. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to. Even when the cops come to me, I'm going to be like, I didn't notice anything. I'm sorry. So I just think living next door to a Karen, yes, she's going to call the neighborhood association on you when you turn your music up after 10 p.m. But if you get kidnapped, she's got your back. And I think that's, I think that's something. Ultimately, what it comes down to is there are people in this world who we need them because they're a little petty. And I think, I think petty gets a bad rap. Petty is just accurate, right? Like, the only way things get done is because of petty people. The, the average person, they stop when they're 80% done. You know, they're building a building, 80% of it is done. They're like, ah, oh, let's chill. You need that petty, that petty manager to keep them going. Petty is accurate, you know what I mean? And I think we should celebrate. Like if you're with your girlfriend or your, your, your spouse or whatever, you go to McDonald's, you get both get a cheeseburger meal. She doesn't want the fries to get cold. So she eats a few while you're driving home. She gives you some. Now, when you get back home and she, she's like, she finished her fries and she's like, well, I gave you mine. So let's split yours. Now, if you say to her, no, 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 no. You gave me six fries. I counted. And you count out six fries and give that to her. <laughs> That's not petty. That's accurate. <laughs> anyway, that's my time. I'm going. Perkins, everybody. Hey. Perkins, the tip Sorry, jar sorry. is open. Venmo in the top right of the screen. PayPal at SDSCshow.com or Super Chat on the YouTube. Hilarious set, bud. So, so, so what you're saying, Dwayne, is without snit snitches, you'll get stitches? Is that what you're, is that what you're saying? Like, <laughs> that's, what that's exactly right. Well, snitches <laughs> prevent snitches. That's what you're <laughs> Yes. Also, Karen kind of just sounds like a contraction of concerned citizen. Concerned. It sounds like Bowers is saying concerned citizen. Uh, <laughs> okay. Exactly. Okay. And also, I grew up with a lot of people named Karen. It was, a, I guess, my era. I know black Karens. I know white Karens. I, I don't know why it, we gave Karen that name. Like, Suzanne's. Now, that's, the, that's who I found to be a little difficult, you know. Because if you call them Susan, they lose their shit. You know, they, they just... <laughs> got... Real quick, too, just so you guys know, you can tip Dwayne at the top right of the screen for Venmo or PayPal at SDSCshow.com. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I think... Yeah, Ben said I, that. What you say? Yeah, Ben said that right as he got done. Maybe we should... Oh, yeah. Do you know this is... Uh, we, is need well. we need them. We need them. What's that, Ben? Yeah. Nothing I'm just going. saying we need we need Karens and um, I'm working on that bit, but I really feel like, you know, for every Karen that breaks up a barbecue, there's another that stops a murder. You know what I mean? I think that's well, honestly, I mean, like that's that's one of the this is actually a thing because there's this where we live in this world now where it's like, you know, if someone sketchy walks into my apartment complex because I let them in the door. Now I just got to let, let them go kill somebody. I can't be like, hey, do you live here? Let me see your key fob because now I'm a piece of shit. I can't do that. So I got to right. go, well, just hope you don't murder anybody I like. Uh, you had a, have a good time. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I guess gotta, I, you got to let everybody in. You can't like, no, do you live here? What, you can't do that shit anymore. You know? That's exactly I, I right. Do that. I still do that. I say, do you live here? Why are you in my house? I mean, I, I'm in a house. so. It's <laughs> well, that's <laughs> it. why you buy a house is so you can, you know, keep out all the riffraff, I guess. But like at an apartment complex, I, I've had that happen several times where like somebody's walking behind me and I'm like, I don't know this person. And they look kind of, you know, but I'm not going to say shit because I don't want to get. In uh, I say shit. I even I was living in my apartment before this. I would always. But somebody would come yeah, before the this. I'm saying that's the new times we live in. I'm that's not sure you can. Point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Are Dwayne, are black Karen's also a pain in the ass? Uh they can be, but I know some good ones, but yeah, they can be. I, I it's weird that I, I feel I feel like this name is getting retired and it, it's not like it's not like Adolf. You know what I mean? It's it's no. just oh, that no. they're not gonna be any more Karen's. I have a theory I have a theory, Dwayne, that, that there have you noticed that there haven't been any black Steves since Urkel? Is that just me? Uh, I think that once Steve Urkel was a black nerd, there haven't been any black Steves. There used to be a bunch of black Steves when I was a kid, and now there aren't any. I don't know. No, you're right. They they are they we do have Steves, but they they're all called Steph now. They're all like Steph. <laughs> <Stephon. laughs> yeah. It's a good pivot. I like that. Right. I'd rather have a female name than be named Steve. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a, I ain't no nerd. Uh, call, me right, Steph, so. call me Stephanie. It's fine. I just don't want to be Urkel. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Some tips for Dwayne. We had Tam send in 10 bucks and said, Dwayne, I'm okay. also mourning the loss of restaurants that I haven't eaten at in years or ever. Half of this tip, uh, half for the tip and half for reparations. And then it's an emoji tearing your money apart. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you. I don't, I don't know that emoji. I have to look that up. Well, when we moved the comedy club, we took over an old Don Pablo's, which is an old Mexican restaurant, like chain in the country or whatever. And so people would be like, well, where's the new Morty's? I'm like, oh, we took over the Don Pablo's bit. And they're like, oh, I love Don Pablo's. That's gone. That sucks. And I'm like, when was the last time you were there? We're like, oh, 19, you know, 1998. I'm like, shut the <laughs> right, fuck right. up then. You haven't been there in 20 years. <laughs> I'm not an asshole for taking away a restaurant you never went to. Shut up. <laughs> That's exactly right. But but provided the community a new place that they could not go to for decades. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, not decades. We made decades, but I appreciate that. And, and the same thing with Sizzler. Like a lot of Sizzlers are gone and... You know, I go to Sizzler once every five or six years, maybe. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that would make me sad. I love Sizzler. I, I, I guess I'm guilty of what you're, what you're saying right now, but I would well, be yeah. sad if all Sizzlers were gone. There's, yeah, there's, I, I also res there's also restaurants that, like, you go every six or seven years to remind yourself why you don't go there. You that's know? true. Like, <laughs> like, like, where you think it's going to be great, and then you're like, oh, yeah, that's what – Sizzler's like that for me. Every time I go to Sizzler, I'm like, oh, that's why I don't go here. Like, Long John Silver's. I find that with, like, Vegas is like that sometimes. Or, like – Absolutely, you get, absolutely. Like, two days, you're like, well, I fucking hate Vegas. What am I here for? This is terrible. Exactly. And then six months later, you're like, Howard, we should go to Vegas. <laughs> Howard, there's no way you hate Vegas. You are Vegas. No, no, <laughs> no, Ben, here's what I don't like about Vegas. Vegas is a bunch of people pretending to be me. Right, like I actually party and have a good time. These are people who go to Buffett once a year and fucking Vegas once a year and think they party. It annoys. You know me. what it is? Vegas basically it's bridge and tunnel for the entire yeah. country. Like the entire country is bridge and tunnel, <laughs> and they go to Vegas to party. It's I, I really party and and really it's just a bunch of fat people walking in circles with big long fucking yards of margaritas <laughs> right, on their right. necks, looking for shit to do that isn't there. That's what Vegas is to me. <laughs> Fair enough, but also you just haven't found the right parties there. Well, that, but also, Ben, I haven't spent, I mean, I think if I had, part of it is money. If I had $50,000, I would have a blast in Vegas, but it's really hard to have a blast in Vegas or, for $183. Or anywhere, or, or anywhere. If you had well, that. yeah, anywhere, but I'm saying specifically Vegas costs way more money than most places. If I had $50,000, like, 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 I, I like you know Vegas. Go ahead. I'm saying, you know, Vegas is expensive when you get back to LA and you're like, oh, finally, prices are reasonable again. You know what I mean? Like, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I actually uh, worked at a restaurant called For Goodness Steak. And it was uh, <laughs> when I was in high school. We, we, I, I, I kid you not, we took Sizzler coupons. Like, that's how much <laughs> we had a salad bar. It was, it was crazy. Downtown Brooklyn, people know about it. It's, it's a Chili's now, I think. Or after these. <laughs> The biggest problem with Vegas, I think, is aside from the prices, I mean, it's one of the only towns. There's just tables everywhere. You just go up to them and you spend seven seconds at the table. You just give them your money. You're like, "Hey, uh, hi, take this, bye." Yeah, I, I, I generally spend yeah. about I generally spend about seventeen dollars for every free beer I get. It's it's not great. It's not a great yeah. system, really. I mean, they they've got you by the butt. And they, like I said, and then you go to clubs and it's like. You know, a bottle of champagne's twelve hundred dollars. Like, what are right. you doing? And then there's a dude. Like last time I was there, there was like this guy. They just got they put. So what they do is they pack. They put hot women in VIPs. They just if you come in, you're a hot chick. They're like, hey, you're in for free. We're gonna have you go stand next to some dudes that feel good. So they spent fifteen hundred dollars on a bottle of champagne. Like, I saw guys next to me spent like eighty grand. Right, these two, three dudes, and I'm like, you know what? What would happen if you spent eighty grand at a strip club in Vegas? What are you doing at a club club? These girls aren't going to talk to you after this is done. Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing, spending this much? It's crazy. I, yeah, anyway. I've I've had those weekends where your boys for like a bachelor party, you go to Vegas, and I, I always fight it because that's not the way you want to go to Vegas. It's too expensive, and they always get bottle service. You're right; it's so it's insanely expensive, and they bring over hot girls, and all they do is say hi pour themselves a very heavy drink and then bounce the second that drink is done. It's pointless. I mean, they usually right. stay with me till four in the morning, but it's still annoying, Ben. I guess. <laughs> <what you're saying. laughs> but I, I will say this too. If you go to Vegas, a lot of people don't know about this. They have a great Chinatown. So if you just get to Vegas, bang a left, go to Chinatown. Really? You know, you got your $20 massages, like regular massages. And, uh, you know, you got your dim sum. That's what I, that's kind of my, my Vegas experience. Define regular massage for me, Dwayne. What do you mean by regular? Um, <laughs> if you're happy at the end, it's because a back knock was taken out. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a relief that was. What a I needed that release. I mean, if she's getting a back knock out, that's really a reach around. <laughs> I'm going to 
interrupt this to give Dwayne some money, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Frank <laughs> Furman, you're welcome. Uh, sent him five bucks and said, the only upside going to those buffets is that you're the healthiest person there. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's a place to, like, it's the only place you can go and participate and be superior at the same time. It's a weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I, I love that premise that you're there too and you're judging everybody else. It's just because you know for you it's one every five years and for them this is every other day. Yeah, yeah this is a jam, absolutely. But for some reason, always these horrible for you buffets, the soup plantations and the hometown buffets, they always got a honey butter and nowhere else on earth can you get honey butter. Delicious. I mean, I make honey butter. You make honey butter? You can just put anything you want. Yeah, you can make your own butter and you can make it however you want with garlic or herbs or anything. What are you talking about? Are you a Quaker? What are you saying right now? <laughs> Wait, Rachel, you have a thing. Before the audience, raise their hands. Like, I do it too. LaBelle. You, you have a churn? You Patrick, have a churn? Dana. Are you wait, Dan, no, stop are you making butter? Steve is in his car waving at us saying he makes his own butter. No, no, no. I'm saying that I really regret missing this show. <laughs> I could have learned how to make my own honey butter this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I, I now again, are you making this like you go to a cow and get milk and then turn it into butter, put honey in it, or are you taking butter and just squishing honey in there? What are you doing? You can do no, there's a couple different ways. You can take butter and squish honey, but then there's cream too that you just like whip and it becomes butter. When are you doing no, that's ridiculous? When are you doing that? When is that? When am I doing that? I don't have a real job, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's ridiculous, Bowers. You don't take butter and squish honey into it. You take honey and squish butter into it. You amateur. Oh my bad. That's why mine comes out. <laughs> it's all honey up. butter. Honey for butter, honey. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. <laughs> What All else right. we got, Rach? Uh, Nicole Byrne, five bucks. If you get kidnapped, she's got your back. Put that in Karen's Yelp review. <laughs> Alexander Breyer sent in three bucks and said, Dwayne, I'll be your neighbor. One day my neighbor had their smoke alarm go off repeatedly for almost two hours, and I just sat there drinking my beer like, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Taylor, thanks for the username, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Honey Butter. Hey, you sh with that mustache, that, I think that's your stage name. Steve Honey Butter works totally with that mustache. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. It's, it, Steve Honey Butter would only star in a movie that has a part 12 at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> or has the word butts in it. <laughs> um, Unhe butt her. <laughs> We also had Spencer Muller, five bucks, half yard or 457 meters. Thanks for the show. <laughs> uh, Dana, <laughs> even a movie called Illusions Mark. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just laughed. So it's a magic mic joke. I was thinking a magic mic joke and I went the other direction. But illusions, Mark. No, nothing. Okay. They don't all work. It's not, it's okay. You enjoyed <laughs> Vegas more. You enjoyed Vegas a little more. <laughs> By the way, uh, Taylor, thanks for the upgrade on the name. <laughs> Fine. Steve Hofstetter, but it's, it's still spelled wrong. No, it's spelled correctly. I know. Now. Well, but that comma is very key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Tibbs. Steve puts the F in Hofstetter, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. I do. <laughs> uh, five bucks and said, Dwayne, my mom would love you. Every time I grumble at her for correcting me, she just tells me she's being accurate. And then it's a, an emoji that says, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, accuracy. Pass it on. <laughs> I'm, a big fan. I'm a huge fan of it. My thing is, whoever buys the fries gets as many as they fucking want. That's how. <laughs> I think that's true with with all food. If you buy the food, you're allowed to taste someone else's food. I mean, that's that's how it works for me. Like, like I'll go grab a chicken finger off somebody's plate, and then they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Are you buying? You're not." Oh. <laughs> I would like all, this is all my food. I'm having one of your chicken fingers too. God damn it! Let's. Go. I would like to feel like disagree. Just because I'm buying someone a sandwich doesn't mean I'm going up to them being like, "It's pretty much my sandwich, though." So have some. No, 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 oh. Ben. It's not. It's it's not for like uh you know a sandwich you take a bite of it. But what Bowers is saying when they're like, "Oh, 
why are you eating one of my chicken fingers? It's like, no, 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 you're eating three of mine. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Way I look at it. It's not the way I look at you it. You want all your food, then pay, Ben. That's all I'm saying. If you want people to take you to lunch, which I enjoy people taking me to lunch, but when they eat my food, I don't, I don't get upset about it. That's also why I eat weird food, so they won't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> More tips? More tips. Just the tip. <laughs> all of the tips. Gus Walsh, five bucks for Dwayne. Also, Vegas Chinatown has great karaoke, too. That's true. And um, you know, it's weird. I've been thinking about karaoke a lot. And how is it going to come back? Uh, either you have to bring your own microphone or maybe they'll have apps on the phone and you can just sing into your phone so we don't have to share. What about mic. a little, little mic condom? They have those <laughs> comedy <Yeah. laughs> No, they have those at comedy clubs. So we've done, I've used the, those at comedy clubs since this has happened. Oh, yeah. By the way, that's the movie that Bowers is going to be in. Little Mike. Little Mike condom. <laughs> Mic condoms, really? It's, it's like it's rubber o over the mic. Not rubber. No, it's the sponge, the the filter. Yeah. It's like it's it's like a, one of those hats you put on when you're a nurse to go into surgery. Or you know, a condom on your dick, but so not rubber. It's not rubber, is what my point is. It's not a. It, it's it's made of cloth. You can come through it. You just can't breathe through it. Right. But it doesn't go all the way down to the base of the mic, so it's not. You know what I mean? It might not for yours. It does for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just bring your own mic and <laughs> disinfect another one? That seems ridiculous. All right. Uh, <laughs> By the way, that that's a wonderful spin on that movie. Basic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> just a guy that doesn't do anything. Just some dude named Mike. He's dressed like a construction worker because he's really a construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they actually sold at Radio Shack. We got a basic mic. If you... <laughs> uh, Veronica sent in five bucks and said, Dwayne, tonight's comedian. I hope this is the right account, SDSC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, you did it. <laughs> you did it. We appreciate that. LaBelle, five bucks. Dwayne, uh, loved your set. Nice. Thank you. Technics. Thank you. To Canadian DP, hashtag PCCA, petty concerned citizens for accuracy. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I'm, I, I, got, I'm, I got this recorded. I got to remember that. That's really <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Bill's broadcast, man. Oh, that's true, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Chili Lee Dog sent each comic 10 bucks. So thank you for oh, that. Very nice. Grim Beard, five pounds. Dwayne, with that outfit, you should stay away from the Pizza Express. People might get the wrong idea. <laughs> it's great. Right. Yeah. And after Bridgerton, I you believe black. But guys. I don't sweat, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're wearing a sweatsuit, that's amazing. <laughs> right, right. You know, um, I don't know why something about the construction worker. I was at an audition once. I had to do a Jamaican accent. I had to be a like a Jamaican uh like FedEx kind of guy. You know what I mean? Sure, yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm over on the side, I'm working on my accent, I'm trying to get it right. And into the room walks a dude in a full FedEx outfit and dreads. And like, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. He was just the FedEx guy. He wasn't there. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We got angry at him. Ah! <laughs> a piece of shit. He's like, "What are you talking about?" He's like carrying real boxes. <laughs> yeah, he literally like dropped off a package and left. And I was like, "What was?" You know, I thought they were gonna run out and get get that guy, bring him back. When you should have was... to the guy was, "Hey, buddy, why don't you do you mind just stinging around for ten minutes and telling them you're Dwayne Perkins?" <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's smart. Mm -hmm. So smart. Yes. That guy was method. That was impressive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, he got a job at FedEx just to yeah. <laughs> I would love yeah. I would love Dwayne to hear your Jamaican accent. Do you have that for us? Mm -hmm. Uh you know, come on. I gotta I gotta work on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, while fun. you're while you're working while you're working on it, um I had the opposite happen of that where uh I was when I was when I was still in college and they were shooting Spider Man on my campus. And there, was, there were like some girls there that were obviously like paid extras in it, but one of them I knew from one of my classes. So I was curious like how they had gotten the roles that they had. And so I went over to one of them, like the one from my class left. And then I went over to the other two and I was like, hey, uh, you know, you're in the movie, obviously, you know, how did you get booked for this? 
And one of them just gives me real attitude and was like, um, I'm a trained actress and I auditioned for it. And I was like, yeah, but they're, they're paying you to play me. So I'm, <laughs> I'm actually a student here. So, <laughs> if you want to follow me around and see what I do so you can do a better job, I'll. I'll... <laughs> yeah, I was like, we're all just here, miss. So. And that's how Steve lost his virginity. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> also, to be technical, it was not one of the major Spider Man films, it was Spider Man Butts 47. <laughs> it was Psycho Spider Man Chaser. It was a fun show. <laughs> it was, uh, it was Spied, it was Spied Her Man. Was, yep. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> all right let's finish this up oingo boingo uh sent you five bucks Dwayne, and said my girlfriend always wants my fries when we get home because she ate hers on the drive home this is what i'm saying <laughs> so keep count give her you know if she fed you any give her a few oh see my rule is i buy a third fry for the ride home <laughs> <laughs> you know, my whole life i buy an extra french fry just eat on the ride home so when we get home we have our full complement of fries i'm telling what you bowers will, bowers will actually do is uh they'll be like anything else and he'll be like how many miles we got right. <laughs> <laughs> Two more fries right. his, his gps tells him what size to get based on the mileage <laughs> <laughs> Most use of fries. <laughs> it's a gastrointestinal positioning system. <laughs> I, actually could, I actually could use a thing on my phone that told me how long I had till I had to shit my pants. So how what I could eat before I got home. You know what I mean? like, you Taco Bell, you got you're 13 miles from home, so you better wait to don't eat it until you're four miles away. <laughs> Hours, I can see you ordering an extra fries for the journey home. But that's just even if you're meeting the Postmates guy at the front gate of your building. <laughs> that's true. But, but that is such a great idea that you could probably become the president running on that alone. Just just that you do that. Everyone's like, he's that guy. He's so simple. He's going to cut, cut through the red tape. He orders an extra fry. You know what you I mean? Might- my favorite move, because the best nuggets are chicken nuggets from McDonald's, McNuggets, when they're fresh out of the cooker. Fresh out of the cooker, they're the best food ever. Four minutes later, they're the worst food you've ever eaten in your life. Like, it's literally that quick. So I will order 20 nuggets, have them throw them away, and then cook me 20 fresh nuggets. Because they always have, like, 20 in a little bin that have been there for, like, 10 minutes. So just get rid of those. They're three bucks. And then buy a whole new set so they're brand new out of the cooker. That's Wait, the you, you make them throw away their inventory? How does that? No, no I throw no, it myself. I, I just get 40 nuggets because I know the second 20 will be hot, and I throw the first 20 away. What oh, are you wow. kind of homeless guy for the first 20 some Jesus. Oh, they're too bad for even homeless people. They're, nah, I'm not going to do that to somebody. <laughs> old nuggets? God, I'm not a monster. Can you imagine doing, hey, here's some food and it's old chicken nuggets? What a dick you'd be. Just give him $4. Jesus Christ. Old nuggets playing at the Roxy. You <laughs> 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 say that old nuggets was the name of the guy that Bowers gave him to. <laughs> oh. Old Nugs was the character name in, in Basic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's his mentor. Want to see my old nuggets? <laughs> There's a penis in between us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's finish this up. This up. Uh, we had LaBelle sent five more bucks. Dwayne, I am the person driving back to the drive through because they put pickles when I said no pickles and I'm yelling, it's the principle of the matter. <laughs> that's, true. that's absolutely, you see, that's not petty, that's accurate. And by the way, I'm extra pickles guy. But when you give yeah. me extra pickles, don't put them all in the same place. Yeah. Cause I take one bite and yeah. all six pickles. I, I yeah, why do they do that? So fucked up. <laughs> Wayne, have also, you ever had someone, have you ever had someone build you a burrito in the wrong direction? I, Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. By putting like, instead of everything that you'd get a t- taste of things in each bite, it would be like, so here's the beans, out? here's the cheese. Here's the <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucking worse. I thought you meant they, t- they pulled it out of the toilet first and then started. <laughs> oh, no. They, they uh, do no, that they at Subway you one in the wrong direction. <laughs> well, I've got my Subway order down to a science. Like I've, I'm like directing the situation. I'm like, and then you put the oil and vinegar, please, on top of the lettuce, and then the tomatoes, please. Because so often they'll put the tomatoes on top of all your toppings, then they'll put the oil and vinegar and the salt, and it's just getting on the tomatoes. It blocks everything else. 
No, Ben, I actually, Ben, I feel very strongly about this. I have a very specific Subway order. What I do is I don't fucking go to Subway. I go to a decent place. <laughs> <laughs> well, my buddy's one time goes, this Subway sandwich sucks. It's got way too much lettuce on it. I go, aren't you in charge of how much lettuce they put on there? Have you ever been to Subway? Your whole point is like, put that there, right? Isn't that the kind of the whole point of Subway is you build it? Yes. No, 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 Bowers. You don't want to mess with an artist. Yes, right. <laughs> Am I a subway heckler now, Steve? Am I going to get owned by the sub subway artist? Don't heckle the subway artist. It's an artist. That was a little bit of mine. Where I right. talked I'm about helping. It. I'm helping. Fuck yeah. me. I used to say my and then you get a, Wait, wait, Ben, before you tell the bit, like you get a good sandwich and you're like, isn't it great what we did up there? <laughs> <laughs> that was the premise was just that it's so stupid they call themselves sandwich artists at the one sandwich place where they make no choices on their own. And there could be some <laughs> other sandwich place. Maybe there's some art in it, but nice. certainly the guy's like, oh, you want bread? What kind of bread? Right, right. You well, want they meat? They're, they're meat? artists who are commissioned to do a certain sandwich. <laughs> That's it. Actually, uh, I actually signed up for Subway Patreon. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Rachel, catch us up. We gotta get to this game. All right, Becky Lynn sent in 10 bucks just because I was a snarky bitch and I feel guilty. <laughs> uh, Pam, as a general, uh, the phone cover oh, on the mics working as a mic condom is one of the biggest. That's not how it works in the history of how things do not work. Can we have some more info on this? What do you mean? So it doesn't work. It is if you switch it. If you put a cover on it and then you switch the cover to a different cover, that works, right, Tam? Oh, those things it's don't keep porous. aerosols out. They're completely porous things. Porous. Bell's having a stroke no, as no, well. No, no, we're not talking about, no, 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 we're not talking about, we're not talking about, listen, no, no, we're not talking about the, we're not talking about the windscreen. They make a specific oh. thing that makes the mic, uh, that you put over a mic that keeps the liquid from going through it. Well, Bell's having a stroke, it's porous. guys. Is 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 what you guys are telling me that I've been doing this wrong all along? Or <laughs> by the way, if that's what you're putting on your dick, that explains a lot of things. I just wanted the illusion that I had a black penis, and that's my yeah. No, you just, I mean, I, <laughs> I want to look uh, like you. said that's a pop filter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so Ben, you're saying your dick cosplays as Dwayne's dick? Is that what's happening? That's right. That's right. That's right. I always say to the girl, "You want to uh, you want to say hi to my Perkins?" <laughs> <laughs> Want to dine at the Perkins? <laughs> oh. Oh. The 2021 version of Are You Hungry for These Nipples? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, catch us up, Rage. All right, all right. Uh, last one is from Spencer Muller, sent in 10 bucks and said, For everyone, to throw down at Sizzler. Wish I could do more. Here's to a great 2021. Thank you, cool. Spencer. Thanks so much. Thanks, Spencer. They do. Right, we're ready for the game. Let's get to this game. All right, the game is uh, Steve, we're doing Storm a Celebrity. So if you're in our front row, go to the reactions and raise that hand and I'll call on you. Here are the unpaid entries that I liked. Paul Harvey had Eddie Blizzard. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, it's Carl. Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Carl had blink 182 kilometer high speed winds. <laughs> <laughs> And then Cannabis Jones, Rising River Phoenix. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. And so let's go, Anna, start us off. So I have Rip Tornado. Nice. <laughs> nice. And Cyclone Young. And Barbara Strice Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Patrick, the OG, what do you have? I only have one. Um, it's uh, Eugene the Lovey Broke. <laughs> uh, Chris LeBall. All right. I have uh, Robert Downpour Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I have Paul Flood. <laughs> and uh, Lil Girl Say. What? Huh? What's the last one? People oh. think Paul Rudd is very attractive. I'm sorry. I just said. Uh... <laughs> Say it again. I'm sorry. It was it was Lil Rain. Lil Rain. Lil Rain. <laughs> nice. Oh, Adler. All right. So mine are George Gloomy. 
Nice. <laughs> Betty Whiteout. Nice. And Gusty Walsh. <laughs> Hail. Hail. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bye, Clark. Yeah, I just had uh, to... Um... Jeff Bridges washed out. <laughs> nice. And um, Stevie, wonder where my house went after this tornado. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a lot of nights Stevie wonders where his house went. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. No, 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 no need to go. Oh, it's because he's blind. Yeah, no, I think you were thinking about his wife. <laughs> Who did oh. you? Sam, what you got? <laughs> Are we sure? Yes. <laughs> I have Rain Rain Annan. <laughs> um Salil <Salil-Monsoon> Monsoon Fry. <laughs> and Nor'easter Williams. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Billy Boy. Oh, I had instead of Northwest Nor'easter, but <laughs> <laughs> um Jerry cowering in a hall from the tornado. <laughs> <laughs> And we lost your we lost your video or your audio somehow. Oh, what happened? There Sorry. He, Betty you White kink, Juan. Did you kink the tube to your headphones like a hose? What do they do in Canada? How's that fucking happening? <laughs> anyway, go ahead. The Flash. series of tubes. <laughs> what was the be- what's the Betty White one again? <laughs> Betty White Juan, forty inches in twelve hours. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Erling. Um. So I have uh, Rain the Rock Johnson. Uh, nice snowy fatone ah. <laughs> and oprah winfrey abby uh, i had kate winslet michael nice. michael hurricane nice and jody frostier <laughs> nice. good ones megan begley Uh, I had um, Angela lands buried in snow. <laughs> um, this one's with Rob uh, Wendy Williams. Nice. <laughs> um, uh, Marilyn Monsoon. Nice. That's a good one. A good one. Cassie. Okay, I have Helen Hunt for tornadoes. <laughs> Bernie Sandstorm. Nice. And Thunderstruck Norris. <laughs> I like that one. Carolyn, you're up. And you're on mute, though. There we go. Oh, so still can't hear you. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. There you are. I have Ben Hurricane. Nice. <laughs> David, David Wetham, <laughs> Chris, Kristen Swell, nice. George Swooney, <laughs> Cheryl Snow, and Johnny Drench. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Good job. I don't see any hands. Wave it physically at me if you didn't do one and you want to. I don't see any more. Okay. So Frankie Berman had to leave. His were... Uh, Meryl Sleet. Nice. Uh, Tony Hailstorm. Typhoon Burrell. <laughs> and then we also, let's see who else we have. Jonathan S. had Maxine Waterspout. Yeah, <laughs> Twister Rogers. Oh, I like that oh, one. Wow. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Tsunami Sarandon. <laughs> 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 Randy Longmire, Heidi Cleluonumbus. <laughs> this why you asked <laughs> this during sound check and then you fucked it up that bad? Is that what just happened? <laughs> uh, it was Clum, so it just fucked me up. Clumulus? Clumulus. It's Clumulonimbus. It's I'm going to mute myself, y'all. <laughs> no, it's, 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 
<laughs> uh, Gus Walsh had Typhoon Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Jack Dostal, uh Lightning Rod Stewart. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then Christina Al, Christina A. Galera. Oh, A. Galera. Sure. Okay. Sure. Aguilera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The Queen Christina. Gretchen. Wait, was this Quist, Christina Aguilera? Is that you're trying to say? It is, but it's Christine A. Galera. Yeah, that's Christina Aguilera. She watches the show. She just wants to be anonymous. What was her What was her game entry? <laughs> <laughs> Jack Dostal also had Queen Derecho. Derecho. Nice. <laughs> Gus Walsh, Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina Davis. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Adler had a few more uh, after from the tsunami miniseries David Lindstrom is now David Windstorm <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Renee Carman electrocuted <laughs> Spencer Muller McJagged <laughs> Please, Lord, let's see if these, if this is all of them. Yeah, we're caught up. <laughs> all right. Oh, I liked a lot of those. Uh, let's see. I liked uh, uh, Eugene Lev. The Levy broke. Robert Downpour Jr. was good. Uh, Rain the Rock Johnson. But I think I got to go with Stevie Wonders Where His House Went After the Tornado. I got to go with that one. Uh, <laughs> what was your favorite, Dwayne? Oh, that's tough. I mean, I like that one a lot, too. Um, oh, boy. I think I'm going to have to go with Eugene, uh, the Levy Brook. Yes. All right. Cool. Ben. I loved Rip Tornado. I loved Robert Downpour Jr., but I got to give it to Snowy Fatone. Yeah, that was a good one, too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Great. Well, I mean, honorable mention, Heidi Klumanombus was fantastic. Um, Rip That's Tornado. That's discovered America, by the way. <laughs> I love Eugene, uh, but I'm going to give it to Stevie. Wonder what the house is. <laughs> nice, Steve. Uh, I like Snowy Fatone a lot also, but I am giving it to Stevie Wonders Where His House Is. That is the winner. Claim nice. your prize. Go to sdscshow.com and uh, shoot us an email. Very cool. Dwayne, do you have any? Um, just one of similar to the winner, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Hey, where'd the trailer park go? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, God, Rach, you got any? I don't have any. I don't either. Ben, Steve, how many of you guys got? I, have like uh, I wrote a couple during the game, and like I feel like we somehow have done this game before. So but do I. Yeah. Yeah. I, but, there was one that seemed very familiar, but I think it was for something else. But anyway, go Eddie ahead. Blizzard. Right. Yeah. That was, that was, Eddie Blizzard was the answer for something else. But I think we made yeah. him into, dairy, we made comics into Dairy Queen or something. I can't, I remember yeah, maybe, we, maybe we made people colder. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's what it was. People colder. This is different than that. But anyway, so yeah. Steve has three and Ben has four. But no, Ben's I got, I wrote, I wrote five during the game, but they're very quick. Okay. All right. We'll start. Go ahead and start, Stevie. All right, uh, so all of mine are SDSC people. So I have- uh... Or mine, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, then I'll start with you, Wind Glebe. <laughs> Fair enough, Sleet Hofstetter. <laughs> it's good, because I had, I had Sleety Corbin. <laughs> I had uh, Queen Rainchell Gale Force Windiger. <laughs> oh, damn it, so did I. <laughs> All right, I have Rachel Gale August. <laughs> I've got Chris Showers. So did I. Fuck you. <laughs> you have one more? I have the Rain Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> my uh my last one, uh, because he doesn't get enough game entries with his name, I have Hey Lord. <laughs> and i have for carmen lynch i've got carmen drenched or just missed because her name can be whatever now <laughs> <laughs> nice all right it's time to sing the song ben here we go it's time for sing the song it's lady doodle time as lady's been doodling this whole time now it's time to see those things lady corbin what is that that's, that's the roach on the guitar, the roach oh, playing right. the guitar. Uh, uh, 
Uh, here we go. So first up, oh fucking hell, I froze. All right, it was the cockroach's fault. I have Ben as the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Does that happen this episode? Oh, it's holding his head. They yeah. drank the drink in the glass. Oh. Your head. <laughs> yes. You put it on your story. That's how into it you were. I have uh, stitches prevent stitches. <laughs> <laughs> I have Ben making Steve wet. Hitting <laughs> <laughs> on him for good measure. <laughs> uh, I have Carmen's little uh, symbol. Nice. <laughs> I have, look to your left, look to your right. One of you is a penis. <laughs> <laughs> is that all of My... us? <laughs> My mother just closed the door to my room as I showed this. <laughs> have, I am Vegas, baby. <laughs> and then I have, you want to dine at the Perkins? Nice. <laughs> That'll fall right off, Ben. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. And then I have, I'm looking for eights, four eights, four eights. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day from Steve Hofstetter with, oh, I wanted to put another F, but I didn't do that. Oh. Yeah. We'll pretend I did. And then I have, let me in. <laughs> and then I have your second try. Let me in. <laughs> and then I have, let me the fuck in. <laughs> and then my last one. Now you're just being an ass. <laughs> my very last one is Officer Hoff Stetter. <laughs> and he looks like he's put in like a 14 hour shift and he's too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, Steve, this is crazy. Right now is your last day as a cop before you retire. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong that <laughs> makes it hard for you to retire. Oh, I'm, fi I'm filming tomorrow also. I can work on it. <laughs> Tomorrow, but dude. I did, but I did die at the end of my shift today, so that was bad. <laughs> uh, thanks for the at, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> at art for my heroes on Instagram, LadyCorbin.com. Nice job, nice Woo! awesome, Leading. Dwayne. Where do we find you at in the world? How do we follow you around? Um, uh, well, uh, funny DP on Twitter, Dwayne Perkins on everything else. Uh, this weekend, you can catch me at Wise Guys in Ogden, Utah. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, as for me, at Bowers Comedy, you can follow me around on that. And tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, we are doing our first origin stories, me and Rachel, with the amazing Kristen Key. We're going to figure out what she's all about. So come check that out. Oh, there are still fuck, tickets available at NoahComedyClub.com, where you can join our super fun Patreon. Uh, so we're excited about that. Ben, what you got coming up? I've got this Saturday, Gleam Off the Top. This Sunday, Undercover Lover, last chance to apply for it could be a contestant is at the end of midday tomorrow, undercoverlover.show at gmail.com or get tickets at Nowhere. And February 26th, I am headlining Nowhere Comedy Club with all the stuff I've been developing and some of my best stuff from my hour from last year that most of you haven't seen. So please come and get tickets and join us. It's going to be fun. Very cool. Steve, what you got coming up? Uh, I'm actually going to do a show. It's a full hour of poop jokes that Ben wrote. So <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Now I have two. I have uh, three shows at Nowhere this month. Two of them are director's commentary shows, um, and one of them is a full stand-up show. Get tickets at NowhereComedyClub.com. Very cool. Rachel, anything to catch up on before we get the audience out here? Yes, we do. Uh, we had who was it? Curtis Mason said at McDonald's you can request freshly cooked food. They hate it, but you can do it. <laughs> that's why i buy two i don't want to be a dick i just want to like it's worth four dollars for me not to be an asshole to anybody to throw but you're away. assuming they've only have 20 nuggets that are pre-cooked what if they got like 80 in that bucket they don't they only cook 20 at a time ben i used to work at mcdonald's and i've been there a million times I know <laughs> Fair enough. yeah ben ben don't don't mcdonald's explain to bowers <laughs> <laughs> like it'd be like don't me max explaining how explain. that's maybe. called max explaining i'm max <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I explain how to use props to you, Ben, we, we kind of just uh -huh. stick to your thing. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? Rich? Is that it? No, that's it, everybody. And then just uh -huh. so you know, so for our Patreon, since we did hit the 100, we have 107 people. We are going to try and schedule the hang for I think next week before an episode. So we're going to get that information out, and we'll post it in the group, and we'll also send you an email in the Patreon app. So be on the lookout. 
Very cool. Well, thank you so much, audience. We appreciate you being here as always. We love you. We will see you on Friday for Fuck It Fan Fridays, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, you'll be in Pittsburgh, right, Steve, for that? Are you going to be here? Are you gonna, I don't know yeah, you're... this is my last show from L.A. Look at that. Very cool. Oh. We'll see you guys on Friday. Rach, anything else for you guys? No, I'm just um, looking forward to the Kristen Key show tonight. A uh, little nervous because this will be my first Nowhere show that I'm in front of a camera. So that's a thing. Um, yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. We'll be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. So come check that it's out. It's going to be a lot of fun. To come check uh, it out. I'm excited. We'll see you guys in like <laughs> an hour or whatever. Yeah, Ra Rachel, by the way, if you need practice, you can host a live stream for 200 plus episodes if you want to. Just kind of shake the cobwebs off. Thanks a lot. Uh, no problem. I'm sorry that I missed some of today's show, um, but you know it was it was so much fun being able to call in from set. I was uh, I I actually stopped us filming so that I could make sure the streams went live. And they were like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I can't explain. It's a lot of dick jokes. Don't worry about it." Um, <laughs> But yeah, it, uh, I, I was I had a lot of fun on set today, and I hope to uh, hope to again tomorrow, and then I'll see y'all uh, from Pittsburgh. I fly out tomorrow night, weather permitting. So you know, fingers crossed. Bye. Thank you all for being with us. What a fun show! We will see you again on Fuck It Fan Fridays. This has been we 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 did it Wednesdays. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>